Dr. Pinnell, what, what do you believe it actually means to quote, be prepared for the next public health challenge, crisis, pandemic, whatever, what does it really mean? What do we have to do? Be specific, please. Definitely, very good question. So first and foremost, we need to make sure that our local and state public health departments are adequately funded. They're funded to do proper public health surveillance, whether that is active or passive forms, meaning we can track infections, we can track cases, we know how to do contact tracing, contact tracing across multiple diverse and inclusive communities, meaning that we know what indicators and what metrics are most important. Are we watching wastewater surveillance? that we have access to uh, vaccines. Are we able to dispatch and distribute those vaccines deep into community, especially communities that are saddled with health inequities and are, are facing concentrated poverty? Do we have access to rapid testing? Not only rapid testing that people can have access to in their homes, but rapid testing at pharmacies, rapid testing at hospitals, rapid testing at federally qualified health centers. Uh, we need to have that full gamut, that full gamut of preparedness and that tool Toolkit. Also brought to you by the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, New Jersey Institute of Technology, NJIT, makes industry-ready professionals in all STEM fields. The New Jersey Economic Development Authority, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, here when you need us most, now and always. Veolia, resourcing the world. Operating Engineers, Local 825. NJM Insurance Group, serving New Jersey's drivers, homeowners, and business owners for more than 100 years. And by Holy Name. This place is different.